gwanga lyafa kye kisoka nti okubanti aba walu aba sibi aba maze miyaka 10 bali ruzira bali kitali abali kigo ngati bawo zisebwanga okubanti coach yefunya obudde ne uliriza okwagala na kwa Suzani ne bujingwe tsani believe very disappointing in summary ne kirunjo mulamuza mu wade bay tumazo jisa sura tugenda waka injiri demo e, 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 teri kudamu kufumbirwa tedi icho chagwa chagwa ochiwe tedi afuna musajjo omulala mu vingono ngano nwe yafuna hata wonze wimpagirira abasiramu mujita taraka nze ngaga shuma mbiri vinga abantu ababiri kasita bafuna obuta kuwatagana ngabo inza no kulidinga kukufa abawo kanye bakola chi basi chejo she is saying that once the dp comes to court then she has taken over which is of course iriko you can you cannot say you cannot hear me then you come and take over okay as if that was not enough then we come to plea taking because she allowed the dpp to, to amend her own charge sheet because a court has made a charge sheet then it comes and says i have amended it then when you come to bail this magistrate has on record my affidavit objecting to bujingo's bail and authorities i made my point so clear that actually bujingo should not be granted bail bujingo wants to kill me he speaks it clearly bujingo is will interfere with all the uh, with the, the, the investigations the surety has brought kaswabuli so and so they are, they are his workmates there is a pastor who works in his church how will you do that but the magistrate first of all the state attorney where i even object to him acted as if he's is bujingo's lawyer since he claims to be working for me that his money has taken over which i'm objecting to i thought that he was going to base his arguments on my objection to bail on an affidavit on record there's an affidavit i found yesterday now he refused he not only refused to refer to it but even when i stood up and the magistrate was saying i cannot speak in my own case she picked my affidavit and, and said using my powers i don't see any value in this affidavit but this is my case so what if i'm killed by Ujingo? or by a, 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 the magistrate granted bail. Would the magistrate compensate my family? So this was a lawless proceeding. The magistrate, I think, I don't know which laws she was reading, and I think they have to be challenged. Even that bail has to be nullified. Because how do you grant bail? Independence of an application challenging the takeover, but independence of an affidavit saying that this man is dangerous. This man has no place of abode within the jurisdiction of this court. Automatically, we are saying no. And they are saying naked, the naked day is far away from here. The surety is none of them resides here. And the magistrate, I don't know, she's not give, giving any reason. She's not considering my affidavit. So I think that was illegal and unlawful. Ten million shillings. I emphasize that that is land harsh. Father orders that the accused persons are not to interfere with prosecution witnesses and the conduct of investigations. Avoid unnecessary utterances 